Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hard up. Are you guys ready? I know I am. My punk ass hasn't done one of these hoarding up videos in like three weeks to a month. What is wrong with my crazy ass? I think I've been too busy working out, trying to lose this weight, trying to do all this crazy stuff, watching movies, running down train tracks, you know, punching hookers, you know, the crazy stuff that I do. Well, I don't really punch hookers, you know, unless they deserve it, if you know what I mean. But right now, I'm gonna be going out there, hoarding up, getting crazy, because I heard there's some deals good to be had out there this week, like at Target and some of these other places. Uh, so I'm gonna be hitting up all those usual places today to try to find some gold nuggets, baby. Gotta try to find some of those great deals this week. But also, stay tuned to the end of this video. I have a big old stack of like uh, Blu-rays and some DVDs in here I'm gonna give some little mini reviews on at the end of this video some stuff I've watched over the last couple days but right now baby it's time to go hoarding hey Ethan I'm about to go out hoarding man is there anything out there you want? cause you look at it, you have like a just mess all up next to you right there what are you eating macaroni and cheese? huh? I love you man I'll see if I find you anything cool out there this week okay? wait a minute Ethan I don't need to go out there and get you anything. You just had your first birthday party, and you have all these presents over here that you still have to open and play with. You lucky, lucky little boy. I'm gonna go out hoarding, and I'll see you when I get back. I love you, messy face, Mr. Poo Poo Pants. All right, guys, I'm over at the Best Buy, baby. About to go in there to see what deals are to be had this week. Haven't been in here for a little while, actually, but I'm gonna be going in, finding out what they got, baby. Hopefully something cool. All right, guys, in Best Buy right now. I've been walking around here for a few moments. Didn't I don't really see much of anything different here. Like, some of their new releases are not even out yet. Like, they have some catalog titles in the, the new release stand right now. The only ones that I saw that they had in the store was Lazarus Effect and uh, Unfinished Business, which I'll have my reviews of those and my uh, update this Friday or Saturday. But I'm, just gonna, I'm trying to find something cool here, but I think the place to be this week is going to be Target when it comes to these deals. But I'm going to look around some more, see if I find anything here. Here's something I've, I've been wanting to get since it came out, but like I just don't want to pay that price for it. You know what I mean? Like I'm a, I'm a cheapskate when it comes to things like this. I know it's on Netflix and stuff and season three is on, but the only season I've ever seen was season one and I want season two. But only if it was like, you know, maybe 15 or less. That's when I'll probably jump on that one. Really want it though. And uh, they do have, of course, like I said, the new releases of Run All Night and Lazarus Effect and the uh, Unfinished Business. But uh, they also have some, uh, you know, sales on their wrestling uh, DVDs and Blu-rays. Like, you can get the Jerry Lawler documentary for 10 bucks and Extreme Rules uh, 2015 for 10 bucks and stuff like that. And the new Daniel Bryan uh, thing for 10 I, I'm, I'm, I've been thinking about the Jerry Lawler one, but I'm not quite sure yet. All right, at a Best Buy right now. Not really much going on in there. They do have a sale on the Kingsman. You know, the Secret Service Blu-ray is $12.99. So is the DVD. I think that same uh, price is at uh, Target. But like, I don't know if I like that movie enough to want to buy it. You know what I mean? Like, it was fine to watch it once, but I don't know if I'm going to need to watch that one again all right guys can anyone guess where i'm at right now i'm at another place that i've been to and gone to many many times before yes it is wally world i'm about to head on in there to see if they have any great deals i heard they had a sale on butt plugs this week all right guys i'm in here now uh they have the kingsman secret service for 22.43 but 12.99 target and best buy this week Run All Night and Chappie or uh, some of the other ones that came out this week. Same old stuff as everywhere else. Yeah, guys, Walmart doesn't really have much movie-wise this week. There's one thing I want to talk to you guys about here because I talked about it in a Facebook exclusive video like last week or sometime. It's called Delhi Sanctuary. It came out about a week or so ago. It stars two of my uh, two of my good friends, Dante and Rebecca Cochin, the people that were uh, the writers and directors of uh, Bro What Happened, the film I'm in. And this is their movie they made right after Bro What Happened. I still haven't watched the copy I bought yet, but I'm, I'm going to get to it very soon. But I just wanted to show you guys this one and if you guys want to support really nice kind people pick up yourself a copy here at your local Walmart for $9.99 and the other thing I want to show is it came out like a week or so ago I think the new Jurassic Park collection here on Blu-ray I have the original one I think it's like in a thicker case did you guys really think Jurassic World was gonna be like you know making f over 500 million dollars in the box office this weekend or 200 million in the US and overseas it was like all together like 511 million dollars I mean I liked the movie I thought the movie was cool and everything 
everything, but I didn't think it was going to be that big of a, a money maker, to be honest. But uh, let me know what you guys' thoughts are of the new Jurassic World movie down in the comments down below if you guys seen it yet. All right, everyone, I'm over here at Target now, about to head on in there, because I heard all the deals are to be had here. Hopefully, I find something, because nowadays, I don't feel like just buying anything. You know what I mean? Like, I used to buy stuff just to buy a lot of blind buys. I don't really feel like doing that anymore. I need to be more careful, you know, with my money and things. But the sun is going down and uh, the crazies are going to start coming out, man. So I got to get in there and get out fast. I uh, almost forgot. I wanted to give a shout out to uh, I Mayfair. Uh, she's, she's doing videos again on YouTube, movie collection kind of videos. And uh, I'll have a link for her uh, YouTube down below. If you, got, you guys probably all remember her name if you've been following my videos for a while. Uh, me and her were like inter an internet couple back in the day uh, when I first started doing YouTube stuff. So she's, she's back doing videos again on the same channel. So check her out. Annotation on the screen. Link down below. Awesome movie girl, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, guys. I just remembered. Last time I was in Target, the movie section was all demolished and messed up. And I haven't been in here for like a week or two now. So hopefully they... They changed something up in here because, like, I don't want to go here and there's no movies whatsoever. But from what it look from the looks of it over here, they, they have it here, man. They just changed it up a little bit over here. Like, they used to have like the bigger stands and everything, but now the new releases are just down here in these cool little like, you know, pods or whatever you would like to call them or whatever. Oh, cool! They have a, a cool-looking chappy uh, steelbook Blu-ray here. I kind of like that movie for what it was, but they also have. Uh, the Blamcomp collection where you get District 9, Chappie, and Anisium, and a cool little digi book here, which look, looks kind of cool. I don't like these little spider things they put on them, but whatever. But that that's pretty cool, but not for $32.99. Hell no. They have a cool deal going on in their little TV show season here for 8 bucks a piece. A handful of, uh, you know, different TV show stuff that they had. Some are newish, some are, are older. But uh, I don't know, man. I'm going to look through some of this here and see if there's anything cool for my mom. Well, guys, I'm still walking around here. I do see some deals uh, to be had, like $13 Blu-rays on some decent titles. But a lot of these movies I either have or don't want. You know what I mean? I thought I, thought I was going to find something kind of cool here today. You know what I mean? Like you get Divergent, 13 bucks, or Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, 13 You know what I mean? They even have some $8 Blu-ray ones. But like, like I said, it's either the stuff I have or don't want you know what I mean well guys this is kind of disappointing today I was really excited about coming here because I heard about all the deals from a lot of you guys out there and uh, there are some good ones to be had but for a movie hoarder like myself that has pretty much everything don't need half the stuff you know uh, man just kind of disappointing hopefully the Dominus Rex doesn't get me <laughs> whatever but guys let's go on home for my DVD reviews all right guys on to the review portion of this video here I got a big old stack of blue rizzles I'd like to talk to you guys about in this one a lot of these movies I watched over the last uh, like week or so and I just wanted to talk to you guys about some of them here but uh, from Comedy Central I got this uh, workaholic season 5 on blu-ray I uh, get all 13 episodes 12 or 13 episodes of season 5 here on blu-ray I've always really liked this show it's one of those shows I can like marathon you know like a handful of episodes a night when I watch it it's like you know about uh, what's his name uh, Blake Durs and Adam they're like you know these guys that work in this you know office building and they're just kind of out of their minds and crazy and it's just all the mischief that they get into uh, it's one of, probably one of my favorite Comedy Central shows that's on right now like this one and of course South Park I just like how nutty these ones are. Like in one of the episodes in here, you know, these guys start up a front yard, you know, wrestling event and, you know, just to try to make money to pay their rent. You know what I mean? It's just really kind of over the top and funny. Always really love the show. It looks amazing on Blu-ray. Workaholic Season 5 here. And uh, next up over here from Alchemy is a movie I heard that really bombed at the box office and it got really terrible reviews on like Rotten Tomatoes. It got like a 0%. On Rotten Tomatoes. I don't think it was as bad as other people were saying, but it's called Survivor here on Blu ray, you know, starring Pierce Brosnan and uh, Mila Jovovich. Uh, in this one, Mila Jovovich plays like a, what did, it say? what did it say on here? Like a foreign service worker, and uh, she gets framed for this bombing that happens, and she's she's on the run for her life trying to, you know, stay alive while Pierce Brosnan is actually the main guy, you know, that, that did this attack, and uh, she's trying to, like, prove her innocence and running around trying to figure out how. She can do so. I thought it was okay. The last act of the film was kind of like, wait, could that really happen? You know, kind of a movie. But but this movie wasn't amazing. It was just kind of like, eh. You know, like the beginning was a lot better than the ending. 
But that's Survivor there on Blu-ray. And uh, next up over here from Millennium is a documentary film I just kind of wanted to see because I love documentary movies. And it's called The Wrecking Crew here on Blu-ray. Um, it's a documentary about this these group of musicians that worked, you know, that that uh, played under like Elvis and uh, the Beach Boys and like a lot of different artists from like the the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and even into the 80s. And uh, the, no one knows their names, but they worked under all these you know artists and. and and like a lot of people don't even know that you know it was them playing in all these hit records over the years you know what i mean and it's a documentary just you know talking about their careers and and, how, and you know how they you know did their thing and how like all the famous people uh you know that were you know famous singers of the day used them on their records because they were like the best people to get as you know bassists guitarists drummers and things like that it was like a small core of like 20 people you know part of this, the wrecking crew that you know, went in there and did that kind of stuff and this is a documentary you're just chron chronicling you know these people's lives and I thought it was really kind of interesting this was really well done and it's actually made uh, by the son of one of the Wrecking Crew members you know what I mean so it actually means something to the person that did it you know what I mean like you can feel the love behind the documentary and uh, if it sounds interesting to you I, I recommend checking this one out if you're into really good musical you know documentaries I really dug this one the Wrecking Crew here on Blu-ray alright guys and next up over here from Lionsgate is the third of the franchise of uh, the Flower in the Attic uh, series that's on uh, Lifetime or time what was it yeah Lifetime and it's uh there will be thorns here on Blu-ray and this is just a continuation of the story and uh, what what the family is doing now because in the original uh, you know Flowers in the Attic film it's about these three young kids that get you know their mom locks them grandma and mom locks them in the in the attic or whatever and they get you know they're there for like a couple of years and then the brother and sister come and fall in love with each other and have this affair with one another and now in this one the brother and sister that had an affair in the in the in the first film now have kids of their own and uh their secrets, you know, their their dark secrets are, are sort of coming to light to the kids that they have and they're the kids are going wait a minute my mom and dad are really brother and sister. It's really kind of, you know, it's kind of like really nasty and weird. But like, I, I kind of dug this one. All right, guys, and these last five up are from Olive Films here. Uh, this first one up here stars Kurt Russell and Meryl Hemingway. It's a movie I've never seen before until I got it, and it's called The Mean Season here on Blu-ray. And in this movie, Kurt Russell plays like this Miami journalist that, uh, you know, goes out and like tries to report on different crimes, different things that are happening in the city until he actually gets called you know, at his office by the person that's doing these serial murders around town and the guy is telling him on the phone like, I'm, I'm going to be killing five more people. And then it's the, in the rest of the movie, it's just them trying to figure out how to stop this guy before he, you know, kills the rest of these people. I found this movie to be okay. It's a really kind of maybe a forgotten Kurt Russell movie because I don't hear a lot of people talking about it. But I think it looks amazing on Blu-ray. And it was a really fun watch, you know, especially since I don't think I've ever seen it before. But it looks really great on Blu-ray. Sad to say there's no special features on it, though. And uh, next up over here is a film I remember from the mid-90s starring Lawrence Fishburne and uh, Stephen Baldwin and it's called Fled here on Blu-ray. It's about these two, you know, convicts that are out on work detail, like cleaning up the side of the road, until one of the one random convict goes kind of nuts and takes an officer's gun and starts shooting, and then, you know, uh, St uh, Stephen Baldwin and Lawrence Fishburne are, uh, you know, chained together, and they run away from the scene that's happening because the shooting that's going on, and they kind of, you know, fled the scene, and it's them trying to, you know, prove their innocence and all this stuff as they're running away. Um, I thought it was kind of a cool one. It's kind of, you know, a little, like, dated a little bit, but I kind of really liked it. It's It looks nice on Blu-ray, no special features whatsoever. But I think this is the film that Stephen Baldwin did right after uh, Biodome or right before Biodome or something like that. But it's okay. If, if you guys, It's kind of like a ripoff of The Fugitive a little bit. And this next one up is a film I, I really wanted to see because I heard nothing but, you know, fun things about it. So I'm like, I, I want to get this one. It's called The Thing with Two Heads here on Blu-ray. It's about this one doctor guy. He's kind of raised. Um, he has this, um, you know, I think he has cancer and he's, he's about to die. But he, he just, he just you know, figured out this cool medical procedure he can do where he can transport his head on somebody else's body. And then, like, you know, after a couple of days, he can take off that original person's head and use their body to live. And he does it. He does so. But it's uh, on this, uh, on this uh, you know, black guy. But yet, you know, he doesn't know that because his, you know, 
like all this crazy stuff happens and his head gets transported onto this black guy but yet he's a big racist and he's like why did you guys you know his partners he's like why did you guys put me on this guy what the hell and it's him and this guy this convict guy that's running around town because he's trying to prove his innocence um it's really kind of cool I, I liked it you know what i mean like there's this really long like chase sequence towards the end of the film which could have been a lot shorter you know than it was but i found this movie to be really really kind of fun to be honest and uh, next up over here is a really cool movie I had on DVD for years, and it's called Thrashing here on Blu-ray, starring you know uh, Josh Brolin from the Goonies. Uh, he, Josh Brolin moves to LA because he's gonna you know go to this you know skate, skateboarding competition you know to win this money to you know so he can make make some money. And of course, when he goes to LA, he meets up with a couple of friends, and then his friends, of course, find out about this rival skate gang, and it's them going back and forth between the two, and then at the end, the battle to see who's going to win the money. I always like this one. It's a fun 80s flick. Would you know? It really captures the time and essence of the 80s in this one. But like the clothes, the music, the cool little montages they have in here. It really kind of reminds me of the movie Airborne. You know what I mean? With Seth Green back in the day. It's kind of, it's kind of sort of like that. No special features though. And last up for this video today is uh, stars Anthony Michael Hall and Robert Downey Jr. And it's Johnny B. Good here on Blu-ray. It's about this one kid, high school football player played by Anthony Michael Hall. You know, he, he's like the best football player in the school. And he, all these talent scouts are out there trying to get him to go to their college. And it's him trying to figure out, is he going to do so? And what college is the best one for him? And uh, that's, that's pretty much a synopsis on this one. It's not as cool as I remembered it being, you know, from when I watched it back in the day. I have the original DVD of this. And it's U Uma, Thurman's, uh, Uma Thurman's first film she's ever done. And uh, it's alright. It's just not as... Not as cool as I remember it to be when I first watched it back in the day, but it does look nice on Blu-ray. But guys, that's all I have to talk to you guys about for this uh, video today. Please give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys this weekend for my new Blu-ray DVD update. Peace, players.